Tonight at 10, Boris Johnson will become the first Prime Minister to be investigated for claims that he deliberately misled Parliament. Mr Johnson, who is now on a trade visit to India, says he has nothing to fear from scrutiny. I, I don't want to have any absence of, of scrutiny. I think we should wait until the conclusion of the, uh, of the inquiry. Uh, but I want to focus on the stuff that I think really uh, matters to the future of the country. Back at Westminster, where the government had abandoned attempts to delay the investigation, Labour said the stakes were now very high. This is about honesty, integrity and telling the truth in this place. Um, and it's an important principle and it's one we all share. We'll have the latest from Westminster on a day when more Conservative MPs called for the Prime Minister to go. Also tonight. In Ukraine, some civilians are able to leave the besieged city of Mariupol, but thousands have been left behind. Following the brutal killing of a five-year-old boy in South Wales, his mother and stepfather have been convicted of murder. We're on the campaign trail of Marine Le Pen, who's hoping to become president of France on Sunday. It's always like this on campaign trail, Le Pen. There's protectors, press and protesters wherever you look. And is the man from Ajax the right choice as manager of Manchester United? Coming up in sport on the BBC News channel, a big night for Burnley, looking to get the win they need to improve their hopes of Premier League survival. Good evening. Boris Johnson is uh, set to become the first Prime Minister to be investigated for claims that he deliberately misled Parliament. It's the latest stage in the controversy about lockdown gatherings held in Downing Street. The Committee of Privileges will investigate and produce a report and it has the power to recommend sanctions if the allegations are upheld. But the committee will not start its work until the police have completed their investigation. Prime Minister is currently on a trade visit to India and our political correspondent Ben Wright is travelling with him. 